Hi everyone, Obi-Wan89 here and welcome back to the fourth devlog of Fisher's Isle, a survival and exploration game where you play as a kid's toy in a sandbox. It's been some time, so let's jump into it. In the last devlog I introduced a new pet. You will be able to tame the squirrel monkey with bananas. The idea is that it can climb on your back, follow you around or pick coconuts from the trees. So for this I modeled a banana tree in Blender, textured it in Substance and imported it to Unreal. The player can now collect bananas from the tree. This is how they look in the inventory. To create the icons I just render them with Eevee and add an outline to it in Affinity Designer. I think this gives everything a consistent style and fits the game quite well. You will be able to plant trees which grow over time. I started looking into vertex animations. In the first iteration I exported the vertex animation as so called ABC file. The underlying issue here is that you cannot export 3D models with the constraints that you defined in Blender. While this works and looks alright, the data is actually quite heavy and I'm not sure about the impact on the performance. I then found that there is a script for 3D Max that exports the locations of the vertices as an image. So the X location is decoded as red, the Y location as green and the Z location as blue. So now we can animate every vertex by sampling a texture. While I don't use 3D Max, I found a forum post of someone who made a Python script which does exactly the same thing in Blender. Awesome! I've put a link to the GitHub page into the video description. Another new item is a treasure map and a drift bottle. Let me quickly find one. I have made the inventory functional, so now I can use the drift bottle to obtain the treasure map. Now let's use the treasure map. I have created this folding animation with the vertex animation process discussed earlier. Maybe you noticed that I made some changes to the island. It's now less circular to give them more natural feel. As you have seen on the map, there's also a second tiny island where the treasure is located. There it is. Let's dig. I spent a lot of work on this new feature since the last devlog. It's not just the shader, but the collisions are actually updated at runtime. But more to that later. Let's see what is inside the chest. An axe. Before I use it, let me briefly talk about the runtime mesh component plugin created by coders. Unfortunately, you cannot modify Unreal's landscape in runtime. And this is where this plugin steps in. It works similar to the procedural mesh component that is shipped with the editor. It allows for changing meshes and collisions at runtime. However, with a vastly superior performance. This became very apparent when I compared it with my PNC implementation. It took me some time to learn how to use this plugin, and on top of that, it was not compatible with the newest version of Unreal. According to the devs, they did not plan an update for a couple of weeks, so I took matters in my own hands and ported it to Unreal 4.26. My pull request got merged. This was an interesting experience. In case you want to use this plugin, I have uploaded a small sample project on my GitHub which shows how to use the different models. So anyway, I implemented this by blending the landscape with my runtime mesh. Back to the X. You can now chop down the palm tree in order to get wood. Of course you will also be able to chop the banana and Porsche tree to get your hands on different materials such as leaves, wooden beams and sticks. The trees always fall in the opposite direction of where the player is standing. I created this mechanic for the epic mega gem which I participated in December. I teamed up with three people that I met on Discord. In one week we created a simple 3D platformer called Tempus Fugit. You can play it for free on itch.io. I was responsible for most of the gameplay mechanics but also helped out in Blender where I retopologized the two dinosaurs. It was very stressful but an experience that I can recommend to everyone. It sharpened my skills in various areas plus it's nice to have a released game. Back to Fisher's Isle. I finished my day in Night Cycle. I had paused the development of this feature because I was waiting for the new dynamic time of the day lighting system which came with the release of 426. I think it turned out quite well. I want to add glowing seagrass and glowworms to spice up the night scene. I might still tweak a few lighting settings later but I will focus on other things for now. To make the island feel a little bit more alive, I have added starfishes, which my girlfriend modeled in Blender. As of now they are just decoration, if you have any ideas how they could be used, 
let me know in the comments. I also added rocks as a first step towards the crafting system. I spent some time learning how to use the control rig. It's a very nice feature which can be used to create animations directly inside the editor or to modify animations procedurally at runtime. It comes with different inverse kinematic solvers, making it straightforward to create new animations. I've used it to create a digging animation and I'm sure it will be helpful to create the monkey petting animations. Another neat feature is that it can be baked onto an existing animation in order to modify them. The next steps will be a basic survival system such as health and stamina bar and the ability to sleep. Furthermore, I want to extend the building system shown in the previous devlog so that resources are required and new structures can be built. Once all of these things are done, I will start working on the second level, a much larger island with an NPC village and dungeons to fight. If you want to support the development of Fisher's Isle, I would be very happy if you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also join our Discord server if you want to participate in the development by testing the game and discussing ideas. You can find the invitation link in the video description. If you want to get more regular updates, follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching, stay tuned.